And thank you so much for your time. I, 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 I really appreciate spending the time with you. And uh, you got to tell me some Sonny Rollins stories. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I had gone down to a club at the time. Uh, I guess it might have been 1975, 76, uh, called a Funky Donkey on Samson Street in Philadelphia. And I heard he was playing there. I so said, oh, this give me a chance to sit in with one of my favorite artists also. So I took my drum with me. And when I got to the club, I got there early. Because I knew most of everybody in the city, they just let me come in, right? So I talked to the man. He said, come on, Kenyatta, go ahead up. So I go upstairs, and I'm waiting to see Sonny. So I says, oh, there's Sonny. So I went over, I said, excuse me, Mr. Rollins, uh, my name is Robert Kenyatta. I play congas, and I would like to sit in with you. Right. So he says, okay, um, Robert. Uh, I'll see, Robert. I'll see. So he said, I'll call you up. So I'm sitting there, and I'm just thrilled that he's going to call me to, to do a set with him, right? So then what happens is that the first set went by, a second set went by, <laughs> and I'm, I said, why? Well, I better go back and maybe he forgot, you know? So after the second set, part of the third set, he's getting ready to start. So I got up, and I felt kind of, wow, he didn't, he didn't uh, say anything, so maybe I better go check. So I went back, and when I checked, he says, well, I'll call you up. One, two, went by. <laughs> <laughs> two twos went by. Three twos went by, four twos went by, and I'm saying, oh man, this guy put me on. So I say, well, I might as well just enjoy it. Right. So around the sixth tune, he says, yes, I'd like to um, call to the stage uh, a conga player, uh, Mr. Kenyatta. So I said, oh wow, he finally called me. And I rushed, took my drum out, my bag, Went up on stage, he set me out in front. And one of my favorite tunes that I love by him is St. Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Da 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 di da da di da 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 da. Oh, I kicked that out. Wow. I got the playing. And like a lot of the musicians when I was coming up when I was 15, what they would do is give me a solo. Solo would be a chorus. And what I would do is hum the tune in my head. So that when I come out of the last four bars or eight bars, I can do the introduction of the tune. Wow. And four bars by playing the melody, letting them know I'm done for them to get ready to come in. Ain't many Congo players do that. So because of my jazz background and blues background, I learned how to do that in my head. I took St. Thomas, he gave me a solo, and I was playing St. Thomas, and it made sense. And then I noticed Sonny Rollins standing behind me looking at what I'm playing. Mm. And I play my drum. So if I'm playing, I'm playing the melody, going through the changes. Baku, 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 boop, boop, boop. Bak da boo 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 Incredible. I say, sure I would. <laughs> so, quite naturally, within a week, he called me for a gig at the Five Spot, the Village Gate, 
the vi uh, Village Vanguard. Uh -huh. I did all them gigs before we went to Japan. Incredible. And we went to Japan for a whole month. Wow. Yeah. You know, you're a real popular individual here in the city of Philadelphia. And the reason why I say that, since the hour that we've been here, people have been coming by blowing their horns, they've been <laughs> stopping, they take pictures of you. And, uh, and I think that's a testament to uh, your commitment to the city, yes. your commitment to the culture of this city, your commitment to the music, the way you cross musical genres to me is totally amazing. Uh -huh. And Robert Kenyatta, I want to say thank you so very much for your time. I really appreciate being here in Philadelphia with you. I can't wait to get back so that we can talk more. But it's been just a great pleasure for me to be here with you, man. And thank you so much. And thank you ever so much. And I appreciate what you're doing with the jazz musicians and helping jazz musicians to get their story told which is very important as well.